controversy according to me as you could have seen uh, it, it has framed four questions for its consideration based on the arguments advanced by the state first question was whether wearing of hijab forms part of uh, islamic faith that is whether it was an essential religious practice court has held accepting the contention of the state that it is not part of erp secondly it has held that the whether uh, insisting on institutional discipline that is asking them to wear the uniform amounts to violating uh, the right guaranteed under article 19 which is freedom of speech and expression that also has been negative to holding institutional discipline prevails over individual choice thirdly about the government order the stand of the state wherein it stated said that it would not interfere in these matters and it would leave it to the concerned institution that was sought to be criticized by saying that there is resulted in non application of mind it resulted in discrimination etc that has also been negative and in all the supreme court the high court has rejected all the petitions according to me this judgment marks a paradigm shift in interpretation of article 25 of the constitution it uh, restates the position of law as held by the supreme court in shabrimala by saying that what is essentially religious is not sufficient what is required to be shown is essential to religion and therefore uh, the whatever be the individual choices ultimately institutional discipline prevails over individual choice so when it comes to the essential practice the court it it doesn't comes under that uh, erp erp so how how is been considered because the uh, uh, councils have been uh, uh, argued the same matters making uh, to understand the bench that the, this is essential practice. see how you determine what practice is an essential res religious practice he is laid down by the supreme court by laying down five tests test number 1 was whether uh, the practice preceded the religion itself number 2 without practicing the same whether religion will cease to exist number 3 whether it is obligatory or optional and two other tests have been laid by the supreme court by applying those tests it was clear that this does not form part of essential religious practice sir the petitioner clearly said that even before the judgment that they will go back to the supreme court and they'll uh, fight it again see under our scheme of the constitution <laughs> any order passed by the high court you can avail the remedy of filing a special leave petition or an appeal before the supreme court it is perfectly open for any of the parties to move the supreme court but you satisfied uh, but i am very sure that the judgment uh, which has been delivered by the high court is based on sound legal principles and um, based on factual foundation sir it's been 11 days uh, continuous hearing was that before that do you think the bench has been considered each and every point uh, of most certainly you could see the judgment itself it is a very well considered judgment running more than 200 pages uh, so obviously the court has taken all the uh, it considered all the submissions made by the respective counsel